Well, it's that time. Time to work on the paint. As you can see in my hands, you know which route we're going. Now, I'm going to let you guys know there's a couple of different options you could do when you're doing a hunting rig like this. You can go and do the wrap, which the wrap itself, you can order it for about $1,500, $1,600 and do it yourself. Now, you can do the professional paint job and look like real camouflage. Beautiful. Be around $3,200 to $3,500. Now, this truck goes in a lot of places it probably shouldn't. Pretty rough on this truck the whole team's rough on this truck and as you can see it's taking a beating so we're going the rattle can route uh, this works great for any hunting rig and it could be as wild and crazy as you want it to be or simple one or two colors as you want to we're gonna do something a little different we're gonna use a few colors a few big uh blotches of different camouflage paint but we'll show you guys what we're gonna do here in a while right now we're gonna run into town wash the truck come back and start sanding so uh, here we go. We got one one more step, and then we're going to do the rack probably uh, this week, and Project Skulldozer will be finished, y'all. All right, y'all. Well, we just got back from uh, washing the Skulldozer, and right now, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what we got. As you can see, we should have enough paint, which we got a lot of different colors. Uh, mainly, we're going to be rocking this deep forest green. That's gonna be our main color. And um, we're gonna black out the grill and the bumpers. And then we've got a couple, the brown, a tan, and a army green to kind of uh, add our camo pattern to the deal. But we got some sandpaper, we got a palm sander. We're gonna go over all of the truck. Again, you gotta knock off that shiny sheen in your clear coat. Um, just give the paint something to grab onto. Uh, we also got this cool little pistol grip for the cans because I'm telling you, well, if you use a lot of rattle cans before, your hands get tired of sitting there trying to push that little squeeze nozzle. And of course, we got our tape. I'm going to go grab some newspapers. I'm going to tape off everything, tape off the tail lights, the windows, um, whatever it is that we might not want to uh, get any paint on it to make it uh, a little bit of cleaner job. So I uh, also picked up a scraper. Get the stickers off the side and the emblems. Get the uh, that little sticky tape that they put on the 2500 emblem, as well as the 4x4 stickers. Uh, that way, get them off of the truck. Because when you paint it, if you leave the stickers on or the emblems on, you're going to see it in the background and it looks tacky. So, but uh, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, first things first, gonna tape off the tail lights, headlights, and uh, get to sanding.
Well, it's done. As you can see, the Skulldozer is painted. Looks great. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. The way the turned out is a very different, very different camouflage. We wanted to get away from the traditional uh, military camo. And I think we got it, guys. Looks great. And uh, as you see, both sides here really did turn out good couldn't have been any happier and that's one more step to get this project completed and uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get started on this interior because if you could see that box on the back the marathon seat covers have come in so it's time to get started on the interior y'all